for some reason, it never remembers the um, the slider and the audio. It always like it, it throws it away. Yeah, that, to be honest, that was that is a fun game, Dreadnought. It's a really fun game, and that havoc mode is just nuts. Like three people just trying to survive waves and waves. Uh, heard you got to wave eight. Well, we got to wave eight. We completed wave seven. Um, but we couldn't get past wave eight. So I think it only counts. I think it only counts to the wave you completed. And in the event of a tie, it'll be the team that did it in the best time. Now, I think ours was like 20 minutes or something. So if I'm honest with you, I don't think we're going to win. But it doesn't matter because 10 grand's going to go to either. Um, what were the charities? Save the children or Toys for Tots. Or if we win, Dementia UK. That was a blast. Dreadnought's not your real type of game. That's fair enough. We all have tastes. I don't expect everybody to like every game I play. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go and get a job. Let's see. Wheel service. Let's take that. So we've done about half of the diesel missions, I think. We've done half of the uh, electric missions. Now we need to grind the steam missions. You enjoyed it, Death Row? Nice. Uh, steam engine's truck assembly is damaged. Find the damaged parts and replace. Uh, check the condition of the brake calipers. Okay. Well, that looks like a damaged wheel to me. Wow. How many broken wheels? I can see this being a faff, getting all these wheels off here. It's four broken wheels, and it said check the brake calipers. But the brake calipers kind of looked okay. Is Lord Doll about? Um, he wasn't here for a bit. I have to go and get him. Mrs. Squirrel is out um, with the daughters down at Lakeside doing Christmas shopping things. So I'll have to go and get him myself, I'm afraid. Uh, let's see. Job order. Four large wheels, two brake calipers. Okay. I'll fix this train up. I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea and I'll grab Lord Dole and bring him back. How does that sound? Right then. So first you start with the connecting rod. Then you go with the small connector. Then you can take off the wheel connector. caliper can come off. How do you get that wheel out of there? That's amazing. Okay, that's the one wheel from there, so... Didn't used to be a trainee mode. Uh, there used to be. You're quite right, Cat. We got we got rid of it uh, a while ago because it wasn't really it it, it was mostly used um, when we had the like donation train thing going and when we got some when we got quite a few more emotes essentially we had to decide what to sacrifice in order to make space for the new ones and uh, to cut a long story short the train bought it. <laughs> I believe that might be all of them. Uh, let's see. So I reckon we may have to buy new calipers, but maybe we can repair the wheel. A 
Yeah, it's not real life though, James, is it? <laughs> Pretty far from it. Large drive wheel. Can repair that with 100%. Uh, let's see. The brake caliper? Wow. Interesting. Well, exactly, Cat. You see? The fact that you've only just noticed and you haven't had that emote for most of this year, I think. That pretty much says it all. Uh, that's all of those. Done. Reassembly. Yeah, uh, Michael, can you want to get me a coffee, mate? That'd be nice. Normally I'd ask Pringle, but he's busy holding up the green screen. Is that it from this side? Could be a brake caliper, surely. I think that's everything on that side. I'm not entirely convinced. No, 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 you can't drop the green screen, Pringle. You, you, that, that's... That's your primary job. Who's going to hold it up if you drop it? Lever, very important. I've got two connecting rods to put up. Okay, done, 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 done. Low cost bonus, two grand. All drinks are now in the post first class. Well, as long as it's piping hot when it gets here, that's fine. But you can't sit down and stuff. Uh, locomotive requires repair of the rear wheels together with the axles and suspension. Let's do that. Ooh, suspension. We've not done the suspension on this yet. Uh, three items on the rear axle and two items on the suspension. Right. I'm going to... Make a cup of tea or a coffee, I'm not sure. And I'll grab Lord Doll. I should be back in a few minutes. Right. I have Mr. Doyle. Come on. Up you come. It's just me and Mr. Doyle tonight. So, uh, I'll see if, I'll see if he'll accept a schmacko from me, but, you know, I'm not the third hand, am I? Hey, boogie. There he is. Do you want some schmacko? There we go. Hey, Tequila. Polar Express, good film. It's not a bad film. It's been a while since I saw it. I watched a good film last night, actually. I got into bed and put the TV on and uh, was bouncing around thought I'll just put something on for, for 10 minutes just to you know wind down caught the start of a film called uh, The Deal and uh, it was actually a very good film it's like a multi-stranded film so there's like three stories being told and the stories basically collide it's like a businessman who's going to Peru trying to... He's like an investment banker, and he's told to go to Peru and secure this big deal to buy these bonds. But it turns out there's one guy, there's one farmer who won't sell his land and it's blocking the whole deal. The other strand of the other story oh, is yeah, the actual yeah. guy who's blocking the deal, like his story and his son. And then the third story 
is uh, a nurse whose mom is very ill. And uh, she's stealing, like, medicines to sell them to make money. But she won't. She can't convince the doctor to operate on her elderly oh, mother. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then she has to make a choice later on. But it's, uh, it's a very interesting film called The Deal. Very recommend it. Uh, Mr. Shambury. Hello, Paul. Uh, Mr. Doyle. Hello, Shambury. Kapitev. Uh, thanks for a great stream so far. Th uh, something quite different again. So intense. Fun to watch. Thank you, Kapitev. Just be aware that the um, there's been a change in the delivery system. And uh, the minimum now is 200 bits for on-screen. But the PayPal $5 have been brought down to $2. So it's $2 or 200 bits minimum to go on-screen. Uh, Mr. Whiteland, 200 bits. Well, thank you for popping by. Are you going to sit down here while I uh, carry on? Hmm? Hmm? You're going to sit down now? Are you right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so he had a haircut a few days ago. Uh, year of the door. It looks all cute and fluffy, don't you? Hey, eh? all cute and fluffy. You want to get down? Go on. You're going to have a sit down. You must be feeling really tired from your really stressful day of sleeping. So why don't you go and have another sleep? I'll take you out later, alright? Can't take you out yet. Alright, take you out later. Dre plus fix. <laughs> right, so what was the job order? Uh, rear wheels and axles and suspension on rear wheels. All right. Take him out at night? Yeah, yeah. Quite often take him out at night. Hand dog. Quite many a time I take him for a walk at, you know, 11, midnight. Just go right, you know, out for 20 minutes. It's quite nice walking around at night. It's all nice and quiet. <laughs> Sleeping sounds like a busy, stressful kind of day. What do I sign up for that? Right. Can we see anything wrong with the train? right now oh when it says rear wheel it means the rear rear wheel that's what it means why gpu so expensive have you any idea how complicated a gpu is <laughs> and how difficult it is to make Disassembly mode. Rear wheels coming off. Rear axles coming off. Didn't it say something about the suspension as well? Oh, okay. Rear wheel and axle, rear axle spring leaf. What's a GPU? Your graphics card. Right, 100% repair. Let's do it. GPU stands for Graphics Processing Unit. Otherwise known as your graphics card. Rear axle. See, this is only on 66%. I reckon we can get one. Okay, and it's that one. Which means I'll buy the other one. <laughs> uh, who was that? Total Gamer UK. Thank you very much for the host. Rear wheel. Thousand dollars. Eight dollar re- what? It must be worth that in metal alone. That's insane. Eight dollars. Lots of rubbish. <laughs> My wife just found out I replaced our bed with a trampoline. She hit the roof. Oh, Pringle.
For some reason, I thought there was, there was something else to do on that one. Never mind. Well, I guess we'll take this. A locomotive broke down along the route and was towed to the workshop. The wheels are blocked. The locomotive could not move. Find the cause of the defect. Wheels are blocked and the locomotive could not move. Let me guess. Is it the brake caliper? Oh, no, it's the connecting rod. That's broken. You went to a seafood disco last night, you pulled a muscle. It's getting worse, man. It's getting worse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The wheels are blocked, but the train rolled in. Like, how does this even work? <laughs> okay. I noticed in this game, compared to, say, um car mechanic sim, you end up repairing a lot more stuff a lot earlier on. Uh, hand dog, I already gave away codes for Italia, um, but one of them was not claimed, so I guess I'll be giving that away on Sunday. Oh, on Sunday, by the way, I think we should be doing the special transport DLC. Oh, yeah. I think we're finally allowed to show special transport DLC. Uh, we received a report about a loud noise that came from the vicinity of the mountain pass. We suspect that the train may be, we suspect that this may be related to a steam locomotive that was passing that way. Check out what the problem is. All right, we're gonna go and recover this one. Are you going to play Trenton World Rapid Transit? Well, I've asked them for a key. Locate the damaged locomotive on the mountain pass. Uh, on the mountain pass, which was here. Which means we need to take a right and right again. Which means I may need to reverse slightly. Yeah, you can see it over there. You've unlocked the 7 mil Regent Magnum, Sammy. You are talking about the pistol, aren't you, Sammy? Not the rifle. Doc Holiday with 200 bits. Hello, Paul. Hello, Doc Holiday. Thank you for the bits. That's a terrible job, Battle Cattle. Oh. Oh, this is just a... I thought it was um, a crane mission, but it's not. Okay, we want to do a left turn. And then we want to do... Left and we're straight in. It's all good. <laughs> I like that. 
The Dark Holiday, first time I got the Santa animation, so good and I need to see it again. LOL. <laughs> Thank you, Dark Holiday. Hey Raya, how you doing? Okay. It appears the front cylinder was damaged due to too much pressure. Make the necessary repairs. Hmm. Ooh, we've not taken this off before. Okay, we've got to be pointing at the boiler to take this part off. Okay, off come the handles. Headlights coming off. Then we've got to take front cylinder cable off. It's a bit, it's a bit dumb the way you have to switch to a different segment in order to take the thing off. this side as well I guess I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that that needs to come out as well the compressor pipe and now we have to go back to see what else is left oh my god oh my god this is not a small job how was dreadnought Ray? it was pretty intense at the end the, the last the last go we had, the last uh, attempt we made, was our best one. And we played a lot of tactics, a lot of strategy, and it was very intense. I hear you playing on Christmas Eve. Uh, is that true, or are people playing you? Neither, Andy. I normally do a Christmas Eve stream. Given that it's a Sunday, it's Sunday Night Trucking, but I have not confirmed my Christmas schedule yet. So, I cannot confirm to you that I will definitely be doing that. Until the schedule goes up, I suggest you just hold tight. Nozzle point one. Oh, man. See, look, to do, uh, to do the connecting rod, we have to go over here. Then we can remove that, and then we have to come back to this front bit, and then we can remove that. Why? It's just a stupid game mechanic. Okay, I can't take that off because that nozzle pipe needs to come off. There we go. Right, is there anything else? Oh my life. The nozzle won't come off because the compressor pipe output needs to come off. I can't take that off unless I go to the boiler and then scroll the camera back. Happy anniversary. This is actually quite a big job for which we are being massively underpaid. Just put that out there. Now we have to go to the motor truck. The day after Christmas, Slovenian Independence Day. Well, that's nice for you. Um, um, this is like a full on disassembly. Cross brace, cross brace lever, control arm. Nozzle 
Arsenal. Smoke box. Woo! What a mess. Right. How many items do we have to fix? Just a smoke box. Okay. Alpha Y. Thank you for 39 months, Alpha Y. Uh, interesting. Wrong workbench. What are we saying? The smoke box is hydraulic? Okay. 66% chance. I had a feeling. I, I had a feeling. Dang it. I think I'm going the wrong place, haven't I? The hydraulics. Apparently it's smoke boxes, hydraulics. Right, okay. That's going to be under engine parts. Smoke box, V2, V3. Uh, I think it's a smoke box. I really hope so. Pringles leaf! I just wanted to see Santa. Thank you, Pringles Leaf. Uh, just be aware, Pringle, that the minimum is now $2, not 5 just so you know. It's 200 bits or $2. No, Michael Douglas. We won't celebrate independence at all. Because it was never controlled. Right, let me sell that smoke box. It already had its own governing uh, governance. Let me put it that way. So let me put that in place. Let's go in there. Oh, wait. Hang on. Let me just reach underneath and put the nozzle in through a gap that I can't possibly fit. But that's okay. <laughs> we can do it. <laughs> exactly. Just missing the part in the middle. But it, does, it doesn't matter, Whiteland. Because you can just easily put it in. In fact, you know what? I'm going to put that piece from this side. And that one too. Because I've got long arms. Oh, it's a clicking problem. Uh, we'll connect. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think we need to go to the boiler. So I'm missing that thing. This interface. Oh my god. Can you just not? Da <laughs> okay, throw a rod in. This makes no sense. It's a little bit painting by numbers, this, isn't it? How many items have we got left? 
two connecting rods which should be down here but I don't know okay, it's fine. that was a faff not gonna lie that was a faff mostly a camera faff how can you tell if something's missing what you do right here is you hover over it and spam the click key and if it goes do you want to fit this item it was missing <laughs> happy anniversary Nata. okay let's go over here qwerty uiop well that's too much down so let's keep it going thank you qwerty have I missed anybody? Yes, I have. Doc Holiday, nine months Twitch baby hype. Thank you for nine months. Shark Baitua. Thank you for three. Roger H with the resume. Have I missed anybody else here? Shambury, Winbot. No, I think we're all good. I don't know if I did Winbot's resume. Oh, wow. That's opened a few. Let's do this one because it's the cheapest, so it's probably the most boring. Brake system and suspension system. Okay, that's the suspension done. Now, why won't you come off? Connector. Interesting. Just generally a massive lever that just pulls the brake calipers onto the wheel. It's hilarious. How's it going? Not bad. Right, we can fix that for 100%. These are all on 100 as well, so that's no problem at all. <laughs> Dave made to four. How did the charity thing go? Did you get the money for the charity, or did you let Whiteland out the cage and end up losing your campaign? Wait, Whiteland? How does that work? I don't know, uh, Dave. We basically got to wave... We completed Wave 7, which is what the other two teams did, I think, unless they got further tonight. So we're kind of waiting for the results to come in. I don't think we've won it, if I'm, if I'm completely honest with you. Because even if even if the other teams didn't get past Wave 7, um, I think they'll probably have done it in a quicker time, which is what then counts in the event of a tie. So I, I don't think, I'm not expecting to win it. But, you know, we had a go. suspension to do we gave it our best Mikey we tried all kinds of tactics we tried glass cannon in it we tried destroyers you know we tried all kinds of things trying to figure out what works and what doesn't was, took half the battle but doing that boss fight that was not easy and that was on wave 7 the boss fight 
that was not an easy fight at all. Like this boss turns up with half a million hit points and he keeps teleporting around and then sending out these corvettes and those corvettes really do a lot of damage and they seem to go for your DPS guy. You know, who has not got many hit points. Mountain pass, let's go and get it. You just bought this game. It has got limited playability though, because there's only, what, 25 missions per, per three categories? So you've got 75 missions, then you're done. And I don't see any, um, I don't see any DLC yet. Mountain Pass, it's over here again. Yeah, a Corvette's a car, exactly. But it's like this really small ship that flies around. Has hardly any hit points, but does a lot of damage. Like a, like a, in World of Warships, you've got the Destroyer. It's a bit like that. Small, fast, agile. Gets in, does damage, gets out. Yes, Eagle Fist, we had Doily on about uh, 20 minutes ago. He's currently asleep near me. Actually, seen the green thing yet? There it is. Wasn't there a Corvette ship in Elite as well? I can't remember. <laughs> Mr. Pringle! If you win or lose, it doesn't matter. The taking part and having fun means more. So sit back and feel the warmth, mate. <laughs> Thank you, Pringle. Thank you very much. Feel the warmth. Are ah, you right, Pringle? I'm not. I'm not disappointed. We lost. I would have liked to have won, but I know that the the money's going to go to a good cause anyway, no matter what. So doesn't matter. Uh, James, I have Lotus Skills PO Box, which I'll open on Sunday. I think we did well. Like, towards the end, we all worked out our role. Like, True was focused on DPS. Um, Elaheim was focused on healing. I know Elaheim's got, like, a, like me, has got a, a background in games like World of Warcraft. So, he knows all about the mechanics of tanking and damage dealing and healing and all this kind of thing. And if you're used to that mechanic, you understand the roles that you have to play, then, you know, we gelled pretty well. Like, I tanked. He healed, uh, true DPS, and it works really well until you get caught out. Like somebody, somebody ports in behind you, and then your tank is now over here and not over there, and that's a real problem. Like in something like World of Warcraft, a tank can move around reasonably quickly, but a dreadnought is so hard to move. So it causes like they they can die before you even get in position again. So you can't, and there's no. Like, tanks often have an aggro ability where they can, like, grab aggro. There's nothing like that in Dreadnought, so you, your tank can't just grab aggro from everybody. Orphid, how you doing? Uh, you, your visit went away, so you're finally having time for yourself. Noise. Oh, Mr. Elaheim, there you are. Let me just change your chat name so I can see you a lot easier. I, how did you think we did, Elaheim? 
I thought we did pretty well. All, all being said. That last round. I mean, a lot of it is RNG in the end. Because what happened to us... You know, what, what could we do about that? Like a... A major DPS guy just suddenly porting in behind us. Let me change your colour to red. There we go. Now I can see it. Yeah, your on screen shall be red now. I think we did fine. I think a few more attempts we would have gone past eight at least. Yeah, I think en the only disappointments I've got is I think eight ended a lot quicker than I thought because I thought seven was a lot harder than eight. I think with eight, we just got caught out, you know. You missed most of the stream due to work. You were allowed to talk about your overall impressions of Dreadnought. I can't, I, I enjoy Dreadnought because like right from the very first time I played it and I realized that it's basically, it's got these elements of um, healer, damage dealer, tanking. It's because it's got those elements to it. You, you're forced to play as a team, you know, because you just cannot survive otherwise. So I enjoyed it. Uh, tell the damage truck. Lack of power due to leakage of the piston tanks. Oh no. Pipes leading to the piston tanks. Right, so it's all about the piston tanks. Yeah, definitely fun with friends. Yeah, I mean you can squad up and go in with your mates as well. So, you know, PvP it up. The only thing is, like, you know, space combat, by its very nature, is very disorienting. Uh, and I think one of the major things, um, one of the things I would have to feed back to the devs is the need for, the need for the ability to communicate to your teammates where something is, yeah? Being able to, like, mark targets or being able to sort of put a marker down and say, over here. Or even just having some kind of a compass. There is literally no way in the game currently to say, we're taking fire from over here, and that's the guy we should hit first. You know, there's nothing like that. And if you're going to make it a team game, you absolutely need that. Hard to wrangle through. Uh, sometimes try stats is a different competitive mindset, I think. Once he tried a healer, though, I believe he understood the importance of position. Yes. I, I think once he tried the healing, he, he had a much better understanding about healing. He's definitely a DPSer. Like if he played Warcraft, he would he would absolutely go DPS. The whole the Trinity, yeah. Is your link an affiliate link? No, no, it's not. It's just a tracking link, cat. So basically, if you want to download, if you click that, then they kind of go, oh, this person downloaded the game because they watched the stream. So it helps me a little bit, but I get nothing financially, if you like. A better information in general improves healing perk. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I want that as well. I want more clarity on the abilities. A lot more clarity to say, you know, this... Instead of just minor, major, significant... Like, what does that mean? Let, let me quantify that. Do you mean 10%? Do you mean 15%? 5%? Like, what's it going to give me? Command targets in Dreadnoughts. I tried that marker Muto, but it just doesn't work very well. Like I pressed on the on the pad thing, and it says something like, um, I forget what the phrase is. The voice thing says uh, uh, enemy spotted or something, but it it doesn't really clarify things for the teammates. Like not once when I marked something did anybody spot it, and vice versa. Damage on the screen. What hit me, and for how much? Yeah, you need some kind of incoming damage radar to say, boom, I'm getting hit on this side harder than this side. Because like I say, it is just so disorienting space combat that you need that extra information to make decisions as a team. I mean, it is a good game, but I think they've got to add some things to it, you know? But you know, free to play. Can't really grumble, can you? <laughs> My opinion, I just said, I just told you my opinion.
Good evening, Martin. But I enjoyed that Havoc mode. That was really fun. 66% uh, on the piston tank. Oh, let's roll the dice. Oh, you scumbag. You scumbag. Let's do it again. Um, is this game like Car Mechanic? Um, yeah, yes and no. <laughs> you meant this game not Dreadnought? What do you mean? Oh, Elaheim, it's... Um, the bot doesn't like shouty caps, Elaheim. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> what did you mean? You meant this game. Oh, my opinion on this game is if you're if you're okay with the fact that you've only got 75 missions to play through and you might get through them in i reckon i would estimate 10 to 12 hours of gameplay no more just bear that in mind i don't know of any dlc at the moment i need to buy a piston tank what those <laughs> Super same, not shouty. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go like you got you and Nut Slammer are gonna get along just fine. Uh, you're new here, stumbled across the channel. Trains, also, what game are we talking about? Uh, yes, this is Train Sim. We were talking about Dreadnought, the game we was playing earlier, which is a free to play kind of space combat game, I guess you could put it. Combine both games. What, Dreadnought and Train Sim? So we can have what? Like, train ships? Is that what you're saying? We, get, we, <laughs> we could have, like, space combat trains that you have to repair. So you, each team's given, like, a bunch of parts in 10 minutes to assemble whatever train they can and then you go out and have combat so the slower you are you're assembling the worse your abilities are going to be sounds like a cool game why won't you go on though dread train or train naught i'm thinking i'm thinking dread train <laughs> let's make a game <laughs> it's like the craziest game ever ever designed Dread, dread train. It's a winner. It's got winner written all over it. Oh, those connecting rods, they always... Wait, wasn't the connecting rod at the back? Hmm. Where are you, scumbag connecting rod? You've basically described EVE Online. Shh, cats, this is a ritual idea. You hope Yorkshire Tea is the best. You're in for a penny for £3.3. £3. Well, I hope you like it. I thought the connecting bob was... The connecting bob was back here, bizarrely enough. There it is. I just have to be on the... Oh, I had it then. There we go. We're done. Done, done, done. Your name here. Uh, hello, Paul. Thank you for all the time and effort you put into the streams and content you make for us. Your content's helping me through a hard time at the moment, so thank you and I much, much appreciate it. You're welcome, dude. You are welcome. And a lot of people... Um, it's interesting, actually. A lot of people find a lot of comfort in watching streams and hanging out, even lurking, just, you know, having somebody to listen to in the background, just the company of it when you're alone. Uh, just a community that you can talk to. It, it goes a long way. Twitch has helped a lot of people. Atlanta Dark, how you doing? Uh, received information that a tourist train that stopped at the goods station is not able to move. Found out what the problem is and necessarily towed the train to the repair station. We can do that. We can tow trains. Yeah, or when doing the laundry, absolutely.
Oh, it's raining. Uh, find and tow the damaged locomotive at the goods station. Okay, where the heck is the goods station? I don't even know where that is. Does anybody know where the goods station is? It's not easily labeled, is it? Desert Great Lakes, goods station, aha. Right, hang on. Um, okay, so straight down to the South Desert, and then we're going to have to reverse back, I think. I don't know, it's kind of healing Raya, but not really 100% yet. You do love chill streams, and also the content ones are really cool to watch. Well, I like the Hunter, we're playing the Hunter tomorrow. Elaheim's into the Hunter as well. He's a lot further than me though, he's like 130 hours, I'm only on 30. But the Hunter's quite chill, but at the same time, pretty fun. Uh, there's been snow, Yoshi. Good night, Philip Sturk. There's not been snow where I am, but there has been quite a bit of snow kicking around. We need to find out which platform this thing's on. So we need to get past this point here. Then hit the brakes, and she'll fly right by. Oh yeah, we've already done a bunch of electric. So the way it works, Flopsy Doodle, is you start off by repairing diesel trains. When you've done about 12 of those, um, it then unlocks the electric trains. And then when you've done about 12 of those, it unlocks the steam trains. So then, when you've done this, you'll be able to go back and just finish off the other missions, I guess. No, that's not right. That one. Okay, we need to... I'm, go I'm gonna take a wild guess here that it's probably... It's probably going to be... Wait, I can't actually change the signal here. It won't let me change it. Interesting. 18 inches of snow in the Midlands? I don't think so, Trucker Neil. I do not. 18 inches, a foot and a half. Even on the west coast, it's not been doing that. Good morning, WK. No, it's not by the same devs who did Car Mechanics Sim, Mike. It's by the same publisher, Playaway, but it has different developers. But... Clearly, there must have been some overlap between the two because like, the camera systems are suspiciously the same or similar. I'll just go this way, just floor it this way. <laughs> 